Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right, I just want to have a look around here, make sure I haven't missed anything. That's where I came through before. Okay, so yeah, I have to I do have to go through the haunted mansion. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Speed Run. Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside. Are you gonna make me listen to the whole around. thing again? When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. <sighs> right. Maybe not a speed Help. run. A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Ah, oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. Hilarious. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. Alright. We'll catch up again when we're, when we're back through this mansion. Alright, and we're back. To where I got lost and confused. All right, cool. So we're back here. Oh, I got a chain. How did I miss that before? Oh, here we go, we've got my shoe back. Well, not my shoe, but a shoe. All right, so some progress, I guess, with a chain. It has hooks on both ends, looks pretty sturdy. Anyway, maybe I can use that on the door that I couldn't open. Maybe. So we're at Dawn with the Duck, one of the park's mascots. That's a lot of information I don't really need right now. Okay. Shields.
the creature's head gone? Ah, yes. I remember now. Maybe I used the chain on this. And not the door. Change the column. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Ah, no. I have figured it out. I have used my uh, my big brain. to get the ride moving okay how do I do that oh this is open now it wasn't before there we go that's how you do it Progress. Douglas. You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call Ow. an ambulance. What? I don't think we'll come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You. You old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that? Oh God! Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on! How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. <laughs> Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this.
What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. Valid. And she is going to give birth to the god that's going to kill everyone. What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. Alright. Nothing more to say there, then. Okay, that actually felt impo important, like... Whoa, okay. Like, maybe going back and talk to him was something I was supposed to do. Let's have a quick look around. Make sure there's no items or anything for me to grab. Oh, Alright, that's where I came through. That's a ruddy great big hole in the ground. Okay. Right, we'll explore in there in a bit. Oh, okay, there's multiple places for you to look into. Good to know. Ah, save point. What's this? Uh, client Claudia Wolf requests searching for then infant Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie, seven, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated, priority low. Using alias Heather, neighbours do not know real name. What is she hiding? Ah, that was Douglas's notebook. Right, I've got a doll's head. Everybody's looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. It still makes me feel creepy though, like someone peeking into my brain. Lovely. Hey, not sure what I need the doll's head for. Alright. I think I made the right choice there to not go down here straight away. Oh, I don't like that. Cinderella doll, Snow White doll. Great. Both on the ground, what's this? Oh, it's the doll's shadows. 
Now these photos of those dolls, Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Oh, oh, oh. Cinderella. She was the one with the glass slipper, wasn't she? Uh, Snow White. You're cute enough on an old doll, but just heads down like creepy. Is that supposed to represent an apple? Did I do it? Was that just to unlock a door? This. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. It's just a prop and not scary at all. Well, let's hope it stays that way, shall we? Nah, son! Alright, turns out I'm, I'm supposed to go that way. Hopefully, is it just a one dog? Probably not, but. I'm just guessing where I'm going at this point. Health kit, yes, thank you. Oh dear, this sounds ominous. Is it anything else around here? No, okay. Oh, this feels final. Sybil? Are you here? <laughs> Mama pinned to the horse's side. When 13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the twelfth death. What?
food. They're breathing out some kind of gas. Well, alive may not be the word for it. It's no ordinary carousel horse. It's not made of wood or plastic. I don't know, but it's just kind of strange. Can I attack them? Did I do a bad? I think I might have done a bad. I wonder. I have this for some reason.
to the menu. Jesus, Okay. It would be better for myself to die after all. It's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. A lesser. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not 
that I don't remember that sick room either. Oh, so you're getting your memories back then. Or maybe you always had them. Or they've just been unlocked somehow. Oh, here we go. Right, what's this? Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us of these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Right. Not crazy at all. A gift to you, unreservedly, my body and my eternal soul. Wherever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. Right. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. O Lord, save us with your compassion. O Lord, shower us with your blessings. O Lord, favour us with your abundance. I'd rather not, thanks. Huh. Well, I'm going up. That's a good sign, I think. It went on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Uh-huh. Right. Sure. Hello, Claudia. boring oh Alessa the world you wanted is nearly here that's not what I want not you Alessa your true self but I am Alessa my little Claudia my dear sweet sister don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. True. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch. No one asked you to help. It's growing within you. You don't 
despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! That's good. Hmm. Interesting. We've still got a ways to go, it seems. Eye of the Night Terror card. I'm sure that'll be useful. But for now, since we've made some progress, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Silent Hill 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.